In our fast-paced digital world, it's all too easy to feel overwhelmed and lose control of our own minds. Constant distractions and demands fragment our focus and willpower. But what if you could take back the reins and master your mindset? What if you could cultivate the mental clarity and resilience to stay centered amidst any storm? The ancient wisdom of Stoicism holds powerful secrets for achieving exactly this. Stoicism was massively influential in ancient Rome, shaping leaders like Marcus Aurelius. And its timeless principles teach us how to steer our minds wisely and withstand adversity. In this video, I'll be sharing 12 essential Stoic tactics you can start applying today to take back your mind. You'll learn concrete skills for observing your thoughts without judgment, limiting digital distraction, reframing challenges as growth, and more. I'll offer actionable advice to help you gain control of your mental game and approach life with inner poise. Number one, practice mindful observation. Set aside time each day to sit quietly and turn your attention inward. As thoughts arise, don't attach to them or get caught up in the story. Simply acknowledge each thought, let it be, and allow it to pass. See your thoughts as leaves floating down a stream. Don't try to grab them or react to them. Just watch them drift by. With mindful observation, you'll gain distance from your thoughts and realize they don't control you. This helps you respond mindfully rather than react impulsively when challenging emotions strike. For instance, if you feel a surge of anger or anxiety, pause and observe it mindfully. Say to yourself, there is anxiety arising in me right now. Examine how the emotion manifests in your body without suppressing it. Does your chest tighten? Does your heart race? By observing anxiety mindfully, you prevent it from spiraling out of control. Over time, this practice trains your mind to stay centered no matter what thoughts or emotions may come. You realize they are transient events that do not define you. This gives you immense power to choose your responses wisely. The Stoics understood that we don't control what happens to us, but we have absolute control over how we perceive events. Practicing mindful observation allows you to take back control of your mind. You cultivate the inner peace and mental clarity to handle anything life throws your way. Number two, cultivate digital detox habits. Schedule time every day when you completely unplug for an hour or two. No screens, no notifications, no distractions. Spend this time doing activities that nourish your inner life. Going for a walk, reading, meditating, enjoying nature, reflecting in a journal. You may be surprised at how difficult it is at first to unplug. This reveals just how dependent many of us have become on devices. It takes conscious effort to break free. But making digital detox time non-negotiable will quickly have you feeling more centered, focused and grounded. It's also beneficial to take one full day a week for an extended digital detox. Keep devices out of sight and out of mind as you immerse yourself in rejuvenating activities. You may choose to spend time with loved ones, get out into nature, cook a nourishing meal or work on a creative hobby. Regular digital detox habits prevent you from getting overwhelmed by the barrage of news and notifications. By periodically disconnecting, you take command of your mind and free it from external pressures. This grants you clarity to focus on what truly matters most to you. It's a profound act of self-care that everyone should make a priority. Number three, develop a personal mantra. Developing a personal mantra can be immensely helpful for centering yourself in challenging moments. A mantra is a powerful phrase you repeat to connect with your innermost values and intentions. Choose a short mantra that resonates deeply with you. For example, I am courageous, this too shall pass, or I am enough. Keep your mantra positive, present-focused and meaningful. 
Repeat your mantra silently to yourself when you feel stressed, overwhelmed, or self-critical. Let the mantra drown out the inner chatter of negative thoughts. Feel how it grounds you in your center. You can even repeat it aloud if you are alone. Hearing yourself verbalize the mantra makes it even more powerful. It affirms what you want to embody. Over time, your mantra will become second nature. It will arise intuitively whenever you need inner strength or wisdom. No matter what difficulties you face, your mantra helps you tap into your inner wellspring of resilience. Mantras have been used for centuries across spiritual traditions to cultivate presence and self-mastery. By distilling your highest aspirations into a short, memorable phrase, you create an anchor to steady your mind amidst life's storms. Your mantra becomes an eternal source of guidance you can carry with you always. Number 4. Master the art of saying no. Mastering the art of saying no is essential for protecting your mental energy and setting healthy boundaries. It allows you to devote your time and attention to what truly matters. Pay attention to when you feel obligated to say yes to requests and commitments, even when you're already overloaded. Be honest with yourself about what you can reasonably manage and prioritize self-care. When asked to take on additional tasks, pause before automatically saying yes. Run through your mental checklist. Do I have the bandwidth for this? Is it aligned with my goals? Will it drain me? Give yourself permission to politely decline anything that doesn't feel right. You may feel guilty at first about saying no, fearing you are letting others down, but you have to honor your own needs and limitations. You cannot effectively care for others unless you first care for yourself. If you agree to something, then later realize it's too much. Don't be afraid to reconsider the commitment. Explain why you cannot follow through as planned. Offer alternative solutions when possible. Keep in mind that saying no does not mean shutting people out. It simply allows you to maintain the mental space you need to show up fully for the people and activities at the top of your priority list. Mastering this skill takes practice, but it is the key to safeguarding your time and energy. Number 5. Implement daily reflection time. Set aside 15 minutes each day to sit quietly with your thoughts. Find a comfortable place free of distractions. Use this time to look inward and make sense of your emotions, priorities and challenges. Review your day. What went well? What did you struggle with? What lessons or insights emerged? Allow any negative emotions like frustration or worry to surface and acknowledge them. Also use this space to get clear on what you hope to accomplish long term in your life. Connect with your core values and sense of purpose. Reflect on what steps you could take to get closer to your goals. Jot down any key takeaways in a journal to help solidify your thinking. Writing your reflections makes them more tangible. End each session by taking a few deep breaths to clear your mind and set intentions for the next day. This daily ritual will keep you grounded and help integrate your experiences. It's a powerful way to center yourself, gain perspective and feel in control of your inner world. Scheduling even a short regular reflection prevents mental clutter from accumulating and gives you the clarity needed to thrive. Make time for this vital self-care activity. Number 6. Engage in curiosity-driven learning. Make time each day to learn something new just for the joy of it. Study a topic you've always wanted to explore more deeply, whether that's astronomy, archaeology or avant-garde art. The subject doesn't matter as long as it satiates your curiosity. Read, watch documentaries, listen to podcasts and take free online courses. Immerse yourself in this interest without worrying about any practical application. Simply soak up new ideas and perspectives. Learning purely for curiosity's sake keeps your mind energized and ignites your passion for discovery. 
It reminds you how limitless and fascinating the world is. This childlike sense of wonder is healing and empowering. When you regularly engage in learning driven only by fascination, you shift from a mindset of lack or fear to one of hope, growth and possibility. Challenges no longer seem so daunting or consuming. Make curiosity fueled learning a lifelong endeavor. There are endless mysteries to explore and knowledge to uncover in our universe. Never stop questing after what intrigues you. It nourishes the spirit and fuels the imagination. Stay curious, stay learning, stay wondering. Number seven, practice cognitive reframing. Practicing cognitive reframing can be highly beneficial for mental resilience. This involves learning to consciously reinterpret challenging situations in more empowering ways. For instance, if you made a mistake at work, instead of thinking, I'm such a failure, reframe it as, this is an opportunity to learn and improve. If you feel overwhelmed by life's demands, reframe it as, by focusing my energy, I can handle this one step at a time. Whenever you notice self-limiting thoughts arising, pause. Consider if there is a healthier, more adaptive way to view the situation. Ask yourself, what lesson could this be trying to teach me? Reframing shifts you from victimhood to growth mindset. You can even reframe perceived flaws or weaknesses as opportunities. For example, reframe impatience as quick decisiveness or shyness as an ability to deeply listen. Adjust your inner narrative about yourself and the world. Reframing takes practice but can profoundly reshape how you experience and respond to challenges. Write down empowering ways to reframe difficult situations. Refer to this when needed to lift yourself up rather than tear yourself down. The story you tell yourself becomes your reality. Number eight, establish a mindfulness routine. Start by setting aside just five to 10 minutes daily for your practice. Find a quiet space, sit comfortably with your spine straight and set a timer. Close your eyes and draw your attention to the physical sensations of breathing. When your mind wanders, gently return focus to the breath. If you prefer a guided meditation, look online for short ones on themes like body scan relaxation, loving kindness, or grounding into the present moment. As your practice deepens, you may choose to extend your sessions longer, but consistency matters more than duration. Over time, a sense of calm, clarity and inner spaciousness will begin infusing your days. You'll find yourself responding to situations mindfully rather than reacting on autopilot. Mindfulness helps you become an impartial observer of your thoughts rather than being controlled by them. Daily mindfulness is like nurturing a garden. It takes dedication and patience for the fruits to bloom. But gradually, the landscape of your mind shifts. A reservoir of inner peace emerges to sustain you through life's storms. Just keep planting those seeds. Number nine, curate your information diet. Take an honest inventory of how different forms of media affect you. News, social media, YouTube, podcasts, etc. Which tend to lift you up or stress you out? Which leave you feeling empowered or drained? Consciously limit time spent consuming toxic, enraging or anxiety-provoking content. Protect your mental space from this clutter, even if you feel obligated to stay informed. Be intentional about what you allow into your mind. Instead, Seek out high-quality content that inspires personal growth. Fill your queue with podcasts by philosophers, spiritual teachers, psychologists, and other wisdom figures. Follow social media accounts focused on mindfulness, compassion, creativity, or overcoming adversity. When watching, listening, or reading, reflect on how the content makes you feel in your body and mind. Consume thoughtfully, not compulsively or out of boredom. Nourish your mind with wisdom that serves your highest self. 
Just as you need a healthy physical diet, you need healthy mental nutrition. Curate your information sources mindfully and your mental clarity and emotional well-being will greatly benefit. Number 10. Cultivate Present Moment Awareness. Cultivating present moment awareness is a pivotal practice for mastering the mind. It means training yourself to fully engage with the here and now, rather than drifting into regrets, worries or distraction. Start by bringing more awareness into everyday routines, as you wash dishes, brush your teeth or take a shower. Notice the sights, sounds and physical sensations occurring in the present. Appreciate the hot water the scent of soap, the feeling of the suds. When walking outside, mindfully observe each step and the feeling of your feet touching the ground. Look closely at leaves, clouds and other details in your surroundings. Open your senses to the aliveness of the current moment. You can also set reminders to pause several times a day and take five conscious breaths. Check in with how your body feels right now. This quickly recenters you in the present. The more you practice tuning into the here and now, the more this becomes your natural state. You realize the present is all you ever truly have. This presence grants you freedom from the mental traps of past and future. Make present moment immersion a lifelong journey. There is always more depth and wonder to be revealed if you keep diving in. Stay present, stay engaged and master your mind. Number 11. Develop Emotional Intelligence Start by simply bringing more attention to your emotions throughout the day. Learn to identify subtle feelings like irritation, sadness, joy, nervousness when they first arise in your body. Don't ignore or suppress them. Reflect on where your emotions are stemming from and what you need in order to process them in a healthy way. Are you reacting out of hunger, stress, or an unmet need for connection? Address the root cause. Practice articulating your emotions and needs clearly to yourself first, then trusted others. Don't let emotions build up unchecked inside. During challenging interactions, make a conscious effort to stay grounded and take occasional pauses. Avoid reacting impulsively Respond thoughtfully once the intensity has passed. Strengthening your emotional awareness and intelligence will transform how you navigate life's complex relationships and situations. You'll act with wisdom rather than raw reactivity. This emotional mastery liberates you. Number 12. Create a personal mission statement. Creating a personal mission statement is an impactful exercise for defining your core values and maintaining focus on what matters most. Take time to get still and reflect deeply on the principles and causes that light you up inside. What vision for your life gets you leaping out of bed each morning? Distill this down into three to five sentences that capture your personal purpose and values. This will be your mission statement. It should feel energizing and aligned with your highest potential. Refer back to your mission statement whenever you have important decisions to make or feel unsure of your direction. Let it guide you in choosing goals and activities that serve your purpose rather than distract from it. Keep your mission statement somewhere visible so you reconnect with it often. When you get swept up in life's busyness, your statement will remind you of the North Star within. It grounds you in who you are and what you're here to do. Revisit your mission statement periodically to update it as you evolve, but keep the core essence intact. Your mission statement is your lifelong compass, motivating you to live with intention and integrity. By defining your direction clearly, you will walk your path with confidence and conviction, the ancient Stoics had incredible wisdom about mastering the mind that remains so relevant today. By applying their principles, such as mindful observation, curating your information diet and reframing challenges, you can take back control of your mental realm. Remember, the power is within you, 
to steer your mindset and respond skillfully to whatever arises. Make time each day for the essential practices we've explored so that calm and clarity become your natural state. On days when you feel distracted or overwhelmed, return to your centering routine and align with your highest self again. You got this. With consistency and courage, you can master your mind. I hope these stoic insights have inspired you to take your mental game to the next level. Empower yourself by mastering your mindset. Keep striving, keep growing. I believe in you. Now go out and make the most of this day. Stay present, stay grounded, and keep training that amazing mind of yours. You have infinite potential waiting to be unlocked. Thank you so much for watching.